Hello guys, so let's talk about for some two. So you are given a four integer array, nums one, nums two, nums three, nums four. And all the then are n, so you just have to return number of tuple IJKL such that um these two constraints. So you definitely know what happened. So uh the one way you can do is use for loop to do it, which consider brutal force, but I'm not uh, going to do this. And the other way is uh, using hash map. So you can uh, do these two array first and then store the sum into the hash map. And, and then you, when you do the other two, then you just check the opposites of the sum. So they, they just code it and you will be able to know what happened. I'm going to uh, make it bigger. So, okay, hash map. And since we already know the question, I'm not going to. Uh, display this so integer so integer so the first the, the key is stored in the sum and the value is stored in the count so the frequency when you see the same sum number so i'm gonna call it map and new hash map so for uh okay since we have the length and then i'm gonna say uh nums one dot length okay so for in i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus for in j equal to 0, j less than n, j plus plus. So I'm going to say in sum is equal to nums1 dot i plus nums2 dot i at dot j, sorry. And I'm going to add to the map directly. So meta put sum and meta get or d4 sum comma 0 plus 1. Okay. So what this actually means is if I didn't see this sum value, before I just add, I mean, it, it will return zero at first and then add, and then plus one. If there is a duplicate sum in the map, then I just keep adding the frequency. So that makes sense, right? And I spell it wrong, right? D4 value, okay. So that would be the first two loop. And the other two array is exactly the same thing, but slightly different. So they just work on this first and i do need a sum which is num3 dot i plus num4 dot j and i'm gonna check so the purpose of this is num1 plus num2 plus num3 plus num4 equal to zero right so you can actually do the math so which is uh so i remain the same for here but I'm not going to remain the same for here. So I'm going to uh, switch num3 and num4 on the right side. So it will become negative and num3 plus num4. So what you actually need to do is you have to if map that contains key negative sum. That is everything you have to know. If I find it, if I find it, since I have to return int, right? So let's think about it. So the example is return 2 because uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 is actually equal to 0. So, okay. So, you need the result value into result equal to 0. If that is happening, I'm going to plus equal. Map.get negative sum. So, what I have to do is uh, get method is since we are sorting the frequency based on the map, right? Then how, how what happens if there are two sum are equal to the number, right? So which means we need to add two frequency into a result. And we just return result. And that will be the solution. And and I'm gonna run it and see what happened. So I pass and it shouldn't be a problem for the oh yes. So that will be the solution and think about the time and space complexity. So the time and space will be n to the, I mean, n square, right? This is n square to for loop, and this is n square, right? And put in, put in contains actually all of one, right? So you, no, there's no need. How about the map? You need to store n times n value at once inside the for loop, so which is n square. So time and space are both n square. And that will be the video and good luck.